And we have one study um, with, with dark chocolate, so we definitely need more in this area. And this was by SRAM in 2001 where they gave one dose of a, about a standard size bar and measured their leukotrienes and they found that these were decreased and these are, are inflammatory prostaglandins that um, can lead to that bad process of atherosclerosis. So this was the one study that did show an anti-inflammatory effect. But I did want to highlight um, this Molisani project out of Italy. It's an observational study. It was designed to examine factors responsible for cardiovascular disease and cancer. And they enrolled close to 11,000 subjects. And of the 5,000 that are uh, of those 10, 11,000 subjects, 5,000 were free of disease. About 1,317 never consumed chocolate and 824 were regular dark chocolate consumers, about 5.7 grams a day. They had completed food frequency questionnaires, which again gives an indication of the past year's dietary habits, and the C-reactive protein, which is an indicator of inflammation, was, was measured. And this is what they found. They found that the serum CRP was significantly higher in the non-consumers, it was 1.32 milligrams per liter compared to dark chocolate at one, practically one milligram per, per liter. So this was a significant uh, difference. And in fact, um, dark chocolate, their conclusions were dark chocolate consumption in regular small amounts, not greater than 6.7 grams per day, that's actually ameliorated the effect, the benefit went away. So in regular small amounts, less than that 6.7 grams per day reduces inflammation. And in fact, the risk of cardiovascular disease would be decreased by 33% in women and 26% in men. So this just came out in the Journal of Nutrition this October uh, issue. So that's some good information that we have. And then um, I wanted to also point out another report that came out this year that reviewed 133 clinical trials on the effects of flavonoids on cardiovascular risk factors. And they found that dark chocolate at an approximate amount of 50 grams, which is just a little bit more than the standard size, in either acute, which would be about hours after the dose, or chronic uh, consumption, would improve endothelial function, which we saw before in those studies. No change in cholesterol, so a neutral effect. It would reduce blood pressure. In fact, a 5.9 millimeter decrease in blood pressure seen with chronic intake would decrease stroke risk by 8%, coronary artery disease mortality by 5%, and all-cause mortality by 4%. Again, um, of course, with, again, the issue of fat and calories in, in chocolate comes up and they are you know, recommending caution related to that as well. So this is the big picture. This is what uh, we think is happening then with the heart healthy benefits of, of chocolate where you have the chocolate flavanols, epicatechin and catechin over here that they can, in, even in the midst of, of many of the cardiovascular risk factors that lead to increased free radicals or oxidative stress that eventually can cause endothelial injury or dysfunction, that it can actually prevent or minimize the effects of both these uh, processes, deleterious processes that can lead to clogging of the arteries or atherosclerosis. So from there, you won't get the vasoconstriction, you won't get the clotting or thrombosis, and hopefully the uh, inflammation too would be minimized and we will just totally avoid this whole bad scenario leading to uh, cardiovascular events such as heart attack and, and stroke. And based on um, ratings, uh, I have found out some good information as far as uh, what consumers feel is the best dark chocolate bar. And this isn't based on any of the science or anything, but just 
uh, going by taste. And so I have, they had three categories. They had excellent, very good, and good. So I have the excellent and the very good categories listed here. And excellent was, uh, consumers felt was complex flavor, very chocolatey, smooth, a treat to nibble or, or savor. And you can see the percent cocoa. Um, the recommendations, uh, the higher the better. Dark is certainly better than milk chocolate, and anywhere from 60 over, 65, 70 percent are, are, are good for that as an indication for how many flavanols are in the dark chocolate product. So until we can get manufacturers to actually label each bar with the amount of flavanols on the product itself, this is our best estimate as far as the amount of that antioxidant power, or the, the cocoa flavanols that are in the product. So the winner is for excellent is the Cocoa Reserve, Hershey's Extra Dark with the, the cocoa nibs in it. And, and you also note the cost, the calories, and, and total fat. Very good range was uh, Lint, Excellence, Extra Fine Dark, Chaco Love, Organic Dark, Valrona, Lenoir, Amer, Dark Bittersweet, Scharfenberger, uh, then, um, and, and I, I'm sorry, let me just backspace, in the very good category, the Lint and Chocolove and Valrona, and they thought it was strong chocolate f flavor, all should please a, a chocoholic. So those are the next category down that consumers chose as, as their preference. Scharfenberger, then Green and Black, the endangered species and Hershey's Dark, and you can see they're they're all within the 60 to 62 um, percent of cocoa content in their products. So uh, hopefully they'll be getting a, some of those good cocoa flavanols to uh, have on board. So conclusion certainly from from uh, here, the current scientific evidence suggests that dark chocolate has heart healthy properties based on its beneficial effects on oxidation, platelet function blood pressure, vascular health, and inflammation. So it goes without saying, I think, that life without chocolate is life lacking something important. If you're in the neighborhood, stop by. I'll give you some dark chocolate. <laughs> Actually, this is from a local chocolate festival, uh, some friends uh, hosting that. I just want to say thank you. It's, it's been uh, delightful sharing my time with you and appreciate you coming and, and hope I've converted you all over to the dark chocolate. Thank you.